are familiar to us, that are like things that we already know about, and we just take them and make up stories about them. So that's what I did with Kina. So the first book about Kina is Kina Ford and the Second Grade Mix-Up. And hello, welcome. I'm so glad you could join us today. This is great. So the first book is Kina Ford and a Second Grade Mix-Up. And the second book about Kina is Kina Ford and a Field Trip Mix-Up. And the third book that just came out, and where is it? Here's one. <coughs> is Kina Ford and the Secret Journal Mix-Up. And lots of times when I tell the titles of the books, people say, why do they all have mix-up in them? Well, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One reason is that, as you probably know if you like to write stories, in a good story that people are excited to read, there's usually a problem that the character has. Like there's something they want that they can't get. Something's in the way of them getting what they want. Or there's a problem. So in every story about Kina, there's a problem that she has. So in the first book, Kina is living in Washington, D.C., with her mom and her older brother, Brian, and Brian is in middle school. And her dad lives in Maryland, and she visits him on the weekends. And Kina is so excited to start second grade. Is anybody here in second grade? All right, so Kina is so excited to start second grade because she knows she's gonna be in the same class as her best friend, whose name is Eric. So Eric is a boy that lives in her building, and he's her best friend. So they're going to be in the same class, so they're really excited. So it's summer, they're getting ready for the new school year, and they're really excited. Then, Kina gets a letter from the school principal that says that this year, they are going to put the boys and the girls in different classes. So all the boys are going to be in one class, and all the girls are going to be in a different class. So for Kina and Eric, this means they're not going to be in the same class, so she's so disappointed and she's so upset when she goes to school. But then, guess what? She gets to school and she loves it. She loves her class, she loves her teacher. But then, here's where the problem happens. Kina makes a mistake when she's writing her birthday for her teacher. She tries to write it in a special way with just numbers. Like instead of writing February, uh, ninth, which is her birthday, she tries to write it with the number for the month, but she mixes it up. So she mixes up the way she writes her birthday, and the teacher thinks that Kina's birthday is the very next day, that it's the second day of school. And so she says, oh, guess what? Tomorrow's Kina's birthday. And Kina's going to say, no, it's not. Tomorrow's not my birthday. But then Miss Campbell, the teacher, says, that she's going to bring a chocolate cake for Kina's birthday. So then Kina decides it's hard for her to say, no, it's not my birthday tomorrow. So she doesn't say anything. So she goes home and she starts to think about it. And she feels terrible that she didn't tell her teacher the truth, that it's not going to be her birthday. So she thinks and thinks and thinks. And then she decides that she's just going to pretend that she's sick. So she doesn't want to go to school the next day, so she's going to pretend to be sick. So she gets up in the morning, and she acts like she's sick, and her mom says, you have to go to school anyway. You know, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Let me know when you're at school if you feel worse, but you got to go. So then Kina thinks, now I, what am I going to do? The teacher thinks it's my birthday, it's not my birthday, I have to go to school. And she decides to tell the teacher the truth again. So this is what she decides to do. So I'm going to read part of the story when Kina is in her class on the day that the teacher thinks is her birthday. So let's see. And she's going to try to tell her teacher, Miss Campbell, the truth, that it's not her birthday. So she says, this is Kina writing in her journal. She keeps a journal of her thoughts and ideas uh, and her feelings. So. I meant to tell Miss Campbell when we were lining up for lunch 
I had taken off my birthday crown and set it on my desk. When Miss Campbell said, Kina, are you not going to wear your birthday crown to lunch? That was when I was going to say, No, Miss Campbell, I am not going to wear my crown to lunch because it is not really my birthday. My birthday is February 9th. But I didn't say that. I didn't say it because right before Miss Campbell asked about the crown, she had gotten something out of the little refrigerator right behind her desk, and she had shown it to me. It was a chocolate cake that said, Happy Birthday, Kina, in light purple frosting. Did you find the right page? Do you know what page? Oh, fine. That cake looked delicious. I really, really wanted a piece of that cake. So I told Miss Campbell that I wasn't wearing the crown because I didn't want it to get dirty at recess. It was true that I didn't want the crown to get dirty, but I still felt like a big fat liar. When we got to lunch, I looked over at the table where Miss Hanson's class was sitting. Miss Hanson's class is the class of second grade boys. So who do you think she's looking for? Yeah. chocolate cake, then everyone would find out it wasn't my birthday. I didn't see Eric at the table. I guess he was in the bathroom. Then I remembered Eric had to go to the dentist. He was mad about going because he would miss lunch and recess, but he would have to come back for math. I decided that there was no way that Eric would be back before the end of recess. I also decided no one would know if I was celebrating my birthday a little early. So I raised my hand. Miss Campbell, can I look at the birthday crown? I think I want to wear it after all. After recess, Miss Campbell announced that we were having a special treat. I knew it was my birthday cake. She called everyone over to the carpet near her desk. All of the other girls had to sit, but I got to stand near the cake. Miss Campbell and the class started singing happy birthday to me. It was so exciting. I started to kind of believe that it really was my birthday. I had a big smile on my face. I even sang at the end of the song, except instead of singing happy birthday, dear Kina, I sang happy birthday, dear me. I squeezed my eyes shut and opened my mouth really wide. I felt like I was on stage. I sang the last line as loud as I could. Happy birthday to me. All of a sudden, I realized that I had been singing the end of the song all by myself. Everyone else had stopped singing. I opened my eyes. Miss Campbell and my classmates were looking toward the door. I thought maybe there was another surprise like balloons or a pony, so I looked too. Pony. There were no balloons in the doorway. There wasn't a pony there either. Instead, standing in the doorway was... Eric. Want to make a prediction? Yeah. Her mom? Her mom. Give me a thumbs up if you think it's her mom. Anybody else have a different prediction? Thank you, Eric. Eric, give me a thumbs up if you think it's her Okay. Any others? Um, her brother. Okay, her brother Brian, give me a thumbs up if you think it was her brother. Okay, let's see. Instead, standing in the doorway was my mom. Oh. Boy, was I ever surprised. My mom looked surprised too. Miss Campbell said, Hello, Miss Ford. Did you come to celebrate Kina's birthday? My mom stood with her mouth open for a few seconds. She looked at me. I could feel my face getting warm. Then she said to Miss Campbell, No, I came to see if Kina was feeling better. She said she was sick this morning and I didn't let her stay home. I wanted to see if she was okay. It looks like she is just fine. She looked at me with her eyebrows raised. When my mom raises her eyebrows, it means I have some explaining to do.